Well, hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video today. My name is Alan, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can mount a TV on a wall. Uh, a couple things you're gonna need uh, is a screwdriver or a power drill. You also need a stud finder and then also a level. And you'll need your TV mount kind of package. It should have a lot of the tools you need in there, but these are just a couple other things that'll help you out. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. The next thing you wanna do is get out your TV mount and check out the instructions and everything you have going on. Make sure that it can support your TV the size and make sure you have all of that stuff right as well. Then you wanna make sure your configuration will work. So most of these TV mounts now can kind of fit different things. They can have different configurations. You can see mine is a square here for this one, but you have different options for that. You can go ahead and follow the instructions on your TV mount. Go ahead and put this back bracket on here. Again, you're gonna put these little screws in here to make it a bracket and then you're gonna put this bracket onto the back of the TV and then I'll show you guys what we can do next. Now that we have our bracket on and it's set and ready to go and tight, uh, we can move on to the next step. One thing I do recommend with this is try to use a screwdriver or the tool that they give you. If you can, try not to use a power drill on this because you don't wanna mess any of these screws up or strip any of this stuff out. But make sure this is all set and tight and ready uh, because then we're gonna go ahead and put this on the wall. So let's go ahead and check out our next step. So now that you have your mount on your TV, you can go ahead and figure out where exactly you want your television to be hung on your wall. One thing you wanna make sure you do is make sure that it's gonna be low enough that it's not gonna mess up if you have an entertainment center or anything below it. Um, also, that it's not too tall uh, that you're gonna be looking up. The, the mount that we're using today does swivel and, and, and can be moved, so that's helpful. But you wanna make sure, again, you figure out exactly where you want it. So one thing you could do is just measure off on the television where the mount's gonna be and to make sure again from the, from the floor, hey, there's plenty of room and then also if there's any other thing around it, you wanna make sure you go ahead and measure that first before you begin drilling or before you get, begin doing any of that stuff because you wanna make sure it's exactly where you want it before you get started. Next thing you need to do is figure out where your studs are. So again, you're gonna need a stud finder or an app on your phone as well. You can go ahead and turn it on and find your stud. So I know I have one right here coming over. I know I have another one right there. All right, so again, I know my two studs are right here. This is approximately where I wanted uh, my TV to go. It depends on your television. The mount that I have is just a single stud mount. So I'm gonna have to choose one of these studs and drill into that. Um, if yours has two, you can, again, try to connect both of them. If you can get two studs on a bigger mount, that's great as well. But you're gonna determine which one of these studs you wanna use. Again, make sure it's the height you want, and then we're gonna start drilling. So let's go ahead and jump into the next step. So you need to make sure you find the center of the stud here. Uh, again, you can find the two corners. Make sure you get right in the middle, and that's where you wanna put your mount so the wood doesn't split, or even the metal doesn't split, whatever you might have. Uh, and then you're just gonna line this up with your middle. Make sure you have it lined up with your screws. You can use the little level that they gave, gave you, or if you even have a different one, you can use that as well. You're gonna go ahead and line that up exactly where you want it. Go ahead and put your marks where your screws are gonna go. And then you're gonna drill some pilot holes in each of these screws in order to put the lag bolts into the wall. If this video has been helpful so far, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to the channel. So now after you drill your pilot holes, it's time to put your lag bolts into the wall and go ahead and put your mount up there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Another recommendation I have is when you're putting this in, kind of let them be a little loose so you can move it around a little bit and make sure it's level before you go ahead and put it all the way into the wall. Once you've got it all in, you want to be really careful and make sure that everything is in there tight and secure because you're about to put your television on here. You can go ahead and check everything, make sure it's tight, and now it's time to put the TV on. If you do have a friend, this is a great chance and an opportunity for them to help. It's kind of difficult to see what I'm doing here, but mainly just putting these little screws into here. So here is a little bit better view of those two bolts. You can stick them in there 
And again, you just stick this little hook on the top of this part right here and just kind of sits there while you put those two screws in right there. All right, guys, so now your television is mounted to the wall. Again, you can check it out, all different options. Again, this one has options where you can tilt it forward and backwards. You can move it all around, move it against the wall, whatever you'd like to do. Go ahead and check out your TV and see what it can do. I uh, also have a video where you can hide these cords if you'd like to do that as well. Um, but I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, I'd love to know that. You can leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'd love to help you out with that as well. You can also check out one of these other videos that have popped up here in your end screen. But I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.